I think my fondest memory is just being with my best mate Ben. Um, he's still my best mate. Um, and, and we went on a camp together and, and that was long before I was involved in the academy or anything like that and for me it was just uh, you know a chance to go away for a few nights away from my parents um, and just have, have a good time you know Stowe is an unbelievable place um, the opportunities around around the training not just the training itself uh, in the free time you know meeting new people from all around the world which for me was a new experience um, was something that I'll hold forever. So there's actually quite a lot of similar similarities. Um, intensity wise obviously it's way different but you're a lot younger and, and you're still learning your trade. Um, but the structures made out on the Stoke camps so that um, it is very similar so that you know you have it scheduled when you're training, when you're eating, um, you know when you're doing your weights and your mobility session and when you're um, you know, doing those extra skill bits, um, and when you're having a good time as well, and that's something that we factor in our week, in our week here. Because the biggest thing for me is that you've got you've got to enjoy playing, um, and that's something I, I really did whilst I was on those camps. For me, it was interacting with new people and meeting lo lots of new people um, because I. I didn't. I only went with one person that I knew, um, and so I got to meet people from all around the county um, and beyond uh, that had come on the course. So that that was probably my highlight, uh, just making friends. I think it's quite inspiring to go from your session to being then watching those guys train next door, or even have their help on. You know, with a few little coaching tips. Where for me it was my kicking or my passing back then. Um, and I've always been someone who has looked up to you know, senior professionals as people that I want to replicate, be like as a player but also as a person and having that interaction with them, uh, even if it's just you know, a 10 second conversation was huge for me at the time. And actually those guys that uh, I did get those chances to speak to, I've ended up playing with uh, and, and friends with now. My big message would be not to worry because I think the majority of people will be in a very similar situation. Uh, I, I was, if I'm honest, really nervous going into those camps because I hadn't stayed away for that period of time from, from my parents, from my family in a new location. But the coaches are so friendly, the people are so friendly and the, the environment that's created at Stowe is um, accepting of everyone so I, I, you've got nothing to worry about really, just uh, get involved. Have a big smile on your face and enjoy, enjoy it all. I think one thing that sticks out for me is um, to not doubt myself as much and to just express myself as much as possible. Uh, you know, I've always felt like I've been a player that's um, tried things and uh, done things a little bit differently. And if I could change anything about that time, I'd probably done more of that. You know, not looking, not trying to fit in, not trying to, you know, be any, replicate anyone, but just be myself. And um, whether that's socially, when you get to meet people, and when you're interacting with the coaches, um, or on the field itself, when you when you're playing and using your skills, just go, just go out there and enjoy it.